Cuquette, la Cuquette. Bienvenidos again to La Cuquette. Now, I have a riddle for you. Is it possible to make spaghetti without pasta? You sure can. There's such a thing as spaghetti squash. But rather than telling you how it works, I'm going to show you. It's kind of magical, if you ask me. So I wouldn't want to spoil the wonder with my words. This is a great recipe for everyone, but especially if you're looking for a gluten-free dish or a low-calorie and low-carb substitute for pasta. Okay, so today we'll be cooking the spaghetti squash and also creating a mushroom sauce that I came up with. The ingredients are down below and on the blog. So first, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and then grab your little baby spaghetti squash. Rock it. And then, Once it's cut in half, we'll take away its seeds and pulp. You can do this with a spoon, your hands, or even some scissors. Next, we'll brush the surface with olive oil. And then we'll season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. We'll place it side up on a cookie pan. And now we're going to bake it for 40 minutes or until it's soft. In the meantime, and because our stomachs are surely growling, we'll prepare the mushroom sauce. First, add the tablespoons of oil to a medium saucepan or pot. We're going to saute the onions, the garlic, and the red pepper flakes and stir. Leave it until you see the onions get slightly transparent. Then we add the cremini mushrooms. And for a touch of spice, we add the oregano and the teaspoons of thyme and mix well. Mmm, smelly herb goodness. Now we can stir in our tomato sauce to blend in with the other ingredients. Finally, add the red wine the sun-dried tomatoes, and some salt and pepper to taste. We'll leave it cooking for about eight to 10 minutes so the alcohol from the wine evaporates. I'll check our squash by introducing a fork to see how soft it is. Oh, looks like it's done. And we'll leave it to chill for about 20 minutes. When the squash is cool, you're going to grab it and grab a fork and you just start peeling off its flesh like this. My friends are the long lost non pasta spaghetti strands we've been looking for. One of the best things about spaghetti squash, besides its lower carb count, is that with one medium sized squash you end up with three to four servings. I love cheese, so for a final touch, I can't resist adding some shredded parmesan. That's all for today, but you can subscribe below for more delicious adventures. Enjoy your new pastas and pasta dish and see you next time on La Coquette.